Well, been six months since we've seen you. Uh, a fantastic fight the last time out. Obviously, didn't go your way. But what's the mentality been like for you over this last six months? Ah, uh, you know, just uh, getting back in the gym. You know, uh, putting putting in the fixing the the glitches that I had. You know, uh, you know, mistakes that I made. Uh, making sure you know that uh, that next time around, you know, uh, I'm I'm full on and ready to go. When you look back on that fight, obviously it was a fantastic fight. Do you look at technical mistakes that you make, or do you look at strategic mistakes that you make? Uh, strategic, you know, because when it comes down to it, you know, like I should have kept it on the feet. You know, I was a better striker. You know, obviously the takedowns weren't hard to get, so you know, should have kept it on the feet. Used the takedowns to get the points. You know, and when he wanted to lay on his back, hey, get up! Uh, audience yells and everybody loves it. And uh, you know, I think that would have been uh, get kept my belt around my waist. Assuming that you get through this tournament, and I know that you believe you will, is that the guy you want to face for the title? Ah, uh, sure, man. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter whoever has the belt at that time, whether if it's Tito or if it's Liam, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I, I know, I know that I am the best. You know, I just, you know, when I just gotta put the time in. You know, I can be lazy at times. You know, uh, get put, give, putting in a little too much in the universe's hands instead of my own. So, uh, so now I'm, I'm not gonna have that problem again. You know, I'm gonna put the training in right. You know, uh, you know, put my mind right and uh, go out there and uh, you know get the victory. Not to bring up any more negativity, you did have the short suspension. I, I think that's something that you know the, the attitude of America is changing very quickly on. But tell me about that. What, what's your thought on it? I mean, were you embarrassed? Were you frustrated? Do you just put it behind you? What's your take on it? I, you know, I just put it behind me. You know, you know, uh, like I said, yeah, I fixed those mistakes. You know, uh, you know, don't not let that happen again. You know, uh, you know, and like I said, obviously it showed in the fight. You know, a little too passive. You know, smoke a little weed, make sure I think I can feel I'm like a nice guy. I want to give people hugs other than punch them in the face. So now, you know, I uh, fixed that. You know, repaired that. And uh, now I'm going to go back in with, you know, with a better mindset, you know, more uh, beast mode and, uh, and smash through everything in front of me. Very nice. We did find out tonight that the first person that's going to be in front of you is Phil Davis. Curious what you think about that matchup. Is that one you liked? Were you hoping to, to maybe get him in the finals? What's your take on that matchup? I mean, I think it makes sense. You know, you know, I beat Mo. You know, I you know I beat Linton. You know, so uh, so it makes sense for me to go against Phil. Uh, you know, and, you know, I know it is going to his game plan. It's going to be to take me down. You know, I mean, it's only two five minute rounds. You know, the first fight. So you know, it's definitely in his favor. Um, you know, but I mean, I I fought in Mo before. You know, who's a real good wrestler. I don't think Phil is explosive. More definitely more technical. Um, we'd be more sticky. You know, so uh, you know, just got to make sure that uh. You know, I have a really good uh, training partner out of Joey Davis, you know, an amazing NCAA wrestler, you know, so, uh, you know, I got him in there, uh, you know, getting up in my butt, you know, so, so you know, I, I may be ready for whatever Phil brings to the table, you know, I'm a, I know my striking's better, I know that I have more knockout power than he does, so, and I have, I know what he's going to do, you know, which is, like I said, take me down, you know, grind me out, look for the submission, look for the ground and pound, you know, but I'm not going to let that happen. Unique experience for all of you guys in this thing, you know, single night elimination tournament. We haven't seen it in a long time. What's your plan? Is there anything specific that you can do strategically or, you know, on the night to, to approach it? Or do you just have to take it as it comes because it is such a unique experience? Yeah, man, you really just have to take it as it comes, you know, because, uh, you know, we're fighting twice in one night, you know, it, it goes on both sides, you know, like, you know, I can have uh, an easy fight, you know, and the other can have a tough fight, be beat up, or, you know, I could have an easy fight, you know, but busted my hand, you know, so now I have to, you know, uh, make sure to be baby that, so, you know, that's why I'm, it's, it's good that I can fight from both sides, you know, because, you know, if I'm hurt on one side, then I can, uh, you know, then I can definitely go to the other, but, uh, you know, I, I just know that I'm, I'm tough, man, you know, like, yeah, th usually these are the times that I shine is when, uh, you know, when the, the chips are stacked against me, you know, Know, the tournament fights, you know, and then like I said, two five minute rounds for the first, three fives for the last. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to fighting five, so you know, I think it's just gonna be a matter of uh, just making sure, you know, that I stay uninjured and you know, and just uh, you know, and just uh, you know, go out there and execute my game plan.